has a heavy-duty spring system so it doesn't sag. It also comes with a larger clamp so it will easily clamp to a 2-inch thick surface. My desk has a thick top and this works perfectly. It's pretty stiff though so adjusting will take two hands. It's also not very long so it doesn't have a large reach. Another inch on each of the two segments would help. A good value though and very sturdy if you have a thick desktop and or a heavy microphone. I use the boom and mic on my ham radio, would recommend. Great price and same build as the more expensive ones. Yet it is short. I prefer it to be short than long. I put it to the left of my desk on the corner and it does well. You might want the longer one for $105 but think of it, it will shake back and forth. With this one there is less vibration. I even suggest using it upside down if you built yourself a booth by hanging it from the ceiling. Problem is that it's a table mount but it does have a screw that keeps in place which you can DIY and drill the tube a hole big enough for the screw to go in and hold it in place. Unfortunately if you do DIY it will lose left to right mobility. Having experience with a Roadsaw 1. I'd have to say the build quality of this boom arm is about the same in terms of sturdiness and stability, but just a tad worse when it comes to getting things moving at the pivoting points. It takes a little bit to get it moving smoothly, and that's really the only complaint I can levy thus far so. For around half the price of Rhodes boom arm, you get about the same build quality and use. Yeah, I'd say buy this if you need to save $50. I like the fact that this boom doesn't have exposed springs. Its clean look creates less of a distraction in my work area. I use a heavy Heil PR40 mic and this boom holds it with no problems. It is much more heavy duty than my other mic boom. However, I do wish it were just a bit longer.